What are your thoughts on the recent demonetizing of Steven Crowder's YouTube channel and other conservatives on social media? You know, it just happened to me. I saw what happened to Steven, and I just posted a video on Twitter. It was over 200,000 views last time I looked. I posted it yesterday. Uh, Facebook completely demonetized my platform. They killed my reach. I was reaching an average of 2 million people a day, David J. Harris Jr. on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, uh, YouTube. But with Facebook specifically, I was reaching an average of 2, two million people a day, 2.7 million people on the 24th of May, or excuse me, the 15th of May, and then in a few days, it dropped down to 100,000 and then below 100,000. So I'm not saying anything crazy. I'm not out there trying to you know, incite violence. I'm just trying to provide people an alternative to the news that we see on the mainstream media. And I support the president. I support our president, Donald Trump. I think he's doing amazing things for the black American community, Hispanic American community, women in our country, and America as a whole. Jobs are coming back. But the mainstream media and, and the, uh, the social, uh, the social uh, giants are just decimating anybody that doesn't agree with them. And they're, they're chopping the legs off of all of us and our ability to even reach the people that want to see our news. And it's something, I really hope something's done about it. Because I, I know Steve has been working on building this page for a lot longer than I have. I've been working for two and a half years to build my page. It's over 600,000 followers. And for them to kill my reach like that with no worry whatsoever of retribution or, or, or anything happening to them is just ridiculous. And it's not going to get any better going into the 2020 election. They're only going to continue to try to silence voices like mine, like Stevens, like anybody that they don't agree with, so that all the people see out there in social media land are people that are an echo chamber of all the negative stuff that we see on mainstream media. So I hope something's done, and I hope something's done soon. Did Facebook offer you any kind of explanation as to why your reach got killed, or did they say anything about it? They did. I shared two different videos. They were both on global warming. One video was actually a clip of CNN where they were interviewing the founder of the Weather Channel. The founder of the Weather Channel was sharing his opinion on how climate change, change is a hoax. They dinged me for fake news for that. Not even my video or my segment. I'm sharing a CNN segment. Then there was another video segment of, Daniel, of Dan Pena, billionaire, uh, loves Donald Trump, and he was also sharing why he believed global warming is a hoax. And they dinged me for fake news. They dinged my page for fake news. And they said that if I'm going to continue to share fake news, they're going to lower my reach to keep people from seeing fake news. How in the world is sharing a clip from CNN fake news? How, when somebody's opinion becomes fake news that should be regulated, nobody's off limits. They're basically dictating what they want the people to see, and they're willing to do whatever's necessary and whatever they can to stifle the voices of those that they don't want heard.